In this video, I'm going to fully sketch y equals 18 over x squared plus 6x. So this means I want to know where it crosses the x-axis, the y-axis. I want to know vertical asymptotes, horizontal asymptotes. I want to know stationary points. No calculus allowed. OK, so here we go. Right, so first of all, I am going to factorise the denominator and write that as x lots of x plus 6. OK? So, first things first, where are the vertical asymptotes? That's when the denominator is 0, so it's 0 and minus 6. OK? Right. Next up, where is it crossing the x-axis? That's when y is 0, when the numerator is 0, well, 18 can't be 0, so it doesn't cross the x-axis. Right, how about a uh, horizontal asymptote? Well, the power, the order of the polynomial in the numerator is certainly less than the one in the denominator, and so y equals 0 will be a horizontal asymptote. OK? Right, um, it doesn't cross the y-axis either, because that's a vertical asymptote. So next up is working out where its stationary points are. So I'm going to put 18 over x squared plus 6x equal to k. So 18 is going to be equal to kx squared plus 6kx. So moving everything onto the right-hand side, kx squared plus 6kx, take away 18. Right, now I'm going to use the discriminant. Put it equal to 0. So we've got 6k all squared, take away 4 lots of k times minus 18 is equal to 0. So 36k squared, then... Uh, 18, 36, 72, so plus 72k equals 0. Now I can divide through by 36, so k squared plus 2k is equal to 0. So that factorises to k, k plus 2 equals 0. So either k is equal to 0 or k is equal to uh, minus 2. OK, now, if k is equal to 0, right, so if k is equal to 0, then that implies that the, this equation would become 0 equals minus 18, which clearly it doesn't, OK? So k equals 0 uh, isn't giving me anything, OK? So how about k equals minus 2? So k equals minus 2 is going to give me 0 is equal to minus 2x squared, take away 12x, take away 18. So I'm going to divide through by minus 2, and we get 0 is equal to x squared plus 6x uh, plus 9 which is x plus 3 squared, isn't it? So x is negative 3. So that's telling me that minus 3 minus 2 is a stationary point. So minus 3 minus 2. <laughs> I was almost going up there. right? So that point there is a stationary point. So that's telling me that the curve must be doing this. OK? Right, so I've got that bit. Now, as for the two other regions here, I just need to check if we've got, if we're above the x-axis or below. So if we try x equals 1, substitute it in uh, here, 
So we're going to have um, positive on the top, 18, over positive times a positive, okay? One times seven. And so we're definitely positive and up in this region. If x is equal to minus seven, then we've got 18 on the top, which is positive. And then we've got a negative times by minus seven plus six, which is minus one, which is a negative. So positive over positive is positive. And so the curve does this. Okay? Now, another reason as uh, to argue as to why the curve had to be up here rather than down here is because we would have seen that to be the case by doing this calculation. We only found that one value of k for which um, the line y equals k intersects the curve once, right? Um, so that was the only point. Um, otherwise, we would have got... Um, well, actually, if, if we've been, if one of them, I guess one of them could be above and one of them could have been below, in which case we would have had one point of intersection elsewhere. But that's not the case with this type of curve. So this is how it worked out. is using all the skills that we've got so far, and now we can find those stationary points as well.